They want to bring down this fort, this this melee Rax. Without the Dazzle, Alliance may not feel so confident about this. Without having that big Aghanim Scepter Weave. And yep, it is going to be the melee Rax. That Great versus Swap, Great versus Chrono. Or sorry, Great versus Thunder, Swap and Lasso. All those big ultimates that Alliance have in. That are melee Rax is falling. Bulldog out in a oh. terrible position. Again, RK forced to use this Swap very defensively. And actually gives over the swap. That's an Agnum's upgraded swap. But then S4, he finds the Absol, drag him in the corner, brace the Chronosphere. It got Bulldog and S4. The Shark are coming in case it wants to kill the secondary Chrono. They're going to bring down RK Smalls, Admiral Bulldog. There's nowhere to go. S4's even just on the tip of a two. The Shallow Grave is not enough. The two of them are down. Loda, he needs to be huge. He needs to be massive. He's picking off the back lines. The Yule Sept will end up saving the Rubik, dodging those three attacks. The Shark are slowing down Loda. He'll come over over to ERA. Where is this damage output? They can't keep up with it. They have to back out now ESC as well. By the time, no reason to risk it. You still got the melee racks in the mid. I don't believe in a no-win scenario. There's too many weird abilities flying around with these Lotus Orbs. But the bottom racks being attacked. Loader, Metamorphosis up again. Wants Keizu. Keizu, Chronosphere's off cooldown in one second time. And then he can turn. But Era still standing on top of Loader. They want a better position for this. And this is a pretty damn good one. Loader on the stairs. Isolated Keizu. There goes your Chronosphere. They need to kill Loader right now. And he's dropping. The Shallow Grave is up for EGM. They swap him out as well. Is Terrorblade in deep. Sunders over an RK. But the curse is on RK as well. Oh, Loader again has to kill off his own teammates unwillingly thanks to Cinderin. They go for more. The BKB is up. They managed to get the swap out again. It's Koifa who's the man who saved but Loda. The damage is there. Koifa four staff in unwillingly too deep. Triple kill for Loda. You still have Era inside the base, but S4 will not let him escape. Loda, the Shallow Grave is allowing him to fight in the front lines and they get through as an ultra kill for Loda. The bottom Rax is barely intact. It's the range racks on 347. All that is left. Does Escape have enough? Can they end this game? They're dead for so long. I think they have to go right now when Invoker doesn't have his buyback. Oh yeah. Oh, right hello. Hello, Loda. He's going to give up the mana style. The Divine Rapier has arrived. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. This is not happening. Demon fucking coming. It's still 37 seconds until he's actually got his metamorphosis up. As they look for a target, EGM era four staffed up by Sindarin, trying to push him away to safety. The Swimmer Blast will slow down the push, but that damage from Loda is just so high. Do they go past it? Yeah, they are. They're coming in. They got 40 seconds while this Invoker is down. They're going to go for a straight GG push. Not a single Rax has been taken. Fortification will slow it down. Keizu now back to Wall of the Living. Time walks out. He needs a Chronosphere and he gets it. He isolates Loda, but S4 still causing problems. This Chronosphere, there's no follow up. Loda at least was controlled, but they don't find the kill. He's going for the fortress with a BKB protection. Keizu now actually has to go again for the Chronosphere, but he hasn't got enough of them. Now they can just keep attacking it. This could be a Lions' game right now, and they've got it! 71 minutes! They actually take it on the back of the Rapier Terrorblade. A Lions take game one against Escape after Escape. Look, they had everything slammed into the bag. They lost it all. Damn, that was an amazing comeback by Alliance there.